Good morning. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. It is 8.40 or so, so I only have until about 3 o'clock or 3.30 to get everything that I need to get done because after this, after I'm finished with everything, I need to go and finish up and buy a few more items that I need for our trip, and that's it. And then we're off to bed, and then tomorrow we get to go to Disneyland. So I gotta get done as quick as possible. I bought these couch covers last February on Amazon. I was very skeptical about them, but they're actually very nice. They have suede-like material and they're in the color gray. My favorite part about them is that they cover each cushion, so they don't shift too much. Much better than those one-piece covers. And they weren't too pricey either. The sofa was $48.49 and the love seat was $37.99. I should have gotten a larger size for the sofa, but I tweaked it by cutting the center where the cushion slides in to give it more room, and it works well. I don't have to adjust them too much, and they've stayed pretty clean. There are a couple of puncture holes for my cat going crazy running around and jumping on them with his hawk nails clawing at the armrest, but they haven't gotten any bigger. So overall, they're very great quality, and I'm very satisfied with my purchase. I'm the type to keep something until it no longer works, regardless of the trend or fashion. I'll leave the links down below if you want to check them out. take a quick break from cleaning and I had to pack up some snacks for a Disneyland trip. I went shopping in my own pantry and pulled out some chips that I had left over from the weekend, some Cheez-Its, some granola and breakfast bars, Capri Suns and some applesauce pouches, and then we went to Target and bought other stuff like water, fruit cups, nuts and trail mix, pop tarts, corn nuts, coffee, Red Bull and Celsius, and some meat sticks, and gum too. That was very important. We wanted to make sure that we had snacks for the kids for the mornings and any time that we were at the hotel, which wasn't much. And we only had the first day to hang out at the epic pool area. But surprisingly, these kids ate most of these snacks and we only came back with granola bars and the coffee and Red Bulls. I am so glad that we packed all this stuff. It really came in handy. Now I wanted to clean out the fridge. I wanted to throw away anything that I knew would spoil. I know it's only four and a half days, but it seems like even just a weekend getaway can lead to coming back to spoiled milk. I know, it's so weird, right? So I had a bunch of leftovers and I didn't want to toss them all, so I asked Danielle and her mom if they would like to have them and they were elated to take some stuff home for dinner. I had some chili beans, rice, salsa, guacamole salsa, pineapple chunks, and a couple of other things that I knew that they would enjoy. And I was so happy that this stuff didn't go to waste and I was able to make room in my fridge so that when I came back, I wasn't overwhelmed with things to do. My mom would always take me to San Diego on the weekends and during the summer, and she always stressed how important it was to leave the house clean before you leave. You never appreciate the reasoning until you're an adult, and I'm so glad that my mom taught me things like this. It also makes me feel like I put my contribution to the household, and it makes going on vacations much more rewarding and appreciative. And I feel like I get to instill this into my own kids.
Alright, I have to ask, who else hates cleaning their stove? Anyone? Anyone? Ugh, it's not so much of a chore that I dislike about cleaning my stove. It's more frustrating because it's the first thing that gets dirty in like 2.5 seconds after you've just cleaned it. It's the most often appliance that I use in my house. So even just after one simple dinner, it looks like many people came over to my house and had a food fight all over my stove. So I just simply wipe it down with a with Clean Freak and a Brillo pad, it gets the job done without leaving streaks behind. And then to wash the grates, I just use heavy duty degreaser to get the majority off or I'll throw it into the dishwasher if I have time. If you've been watching my videos, I've mentioned that I love to buy Brillo pads from the Dollar Tree. They come in a pack of eight and they have so many great uses. 
but I use them mainly for my stove and then afterwards I save it to clean my sink with the rest of what's left of it. You can get them in other places. I have seen them at Dollar General for $2.25 for $10. I've seen them at Lowe's for $3.48 for $18 or at Walmart for $2.32 for $10. But still with the $25 increase at the Dollar Tree, they are still valued at a decent price very affordable and actually cheaper, so I'll gladly continue picking these up at the Dollar Tree whenever I go visit them. I bought these essential oils at Rite Aid a while back for a couple of cheap diffusers. I didn't really like them, but I've seen Amanda from This Crazy Life use them in her garbage disposal, so I've been doing this ever since. Okay, so I got the majority of my cleaning done. I have just some packing to do, but I can't really do that until I finish the laundry. So I'm going to do my nails now. Now that I got all the, the main things done, I just want to do something with them. Uh, they don't look so bad. I could let them go a little longer, but I want to do something a little special and I want to make sure that they're going to hold up for the entire time that I'm gone. Looks 
like we're just about done. Uh, my son is finishing up his laundry and then he's gonna pack up his stuff. So the only thing that I don't have packed up is just all of my toiletries and my makeup and stuff like that. But I can't do that until tomorrow after I get ready. So looks like I'm gonna finish packing up tomorrow and putting all this stuff away and then heading off down to downtown Disney tomorrow and checking into our hotel. I'm so excited. This is the first time taking the kids to Disneyland and probably the third time ever in my life going to Disneyland. So I am uberly excited. It's been at least 15 years since the last time I went. So I'm sure there's gonna be so many differences. I can't wait to see what it's gonna be like. And uh, I'm gonna videotape it and I'll share it all with you guys on the next video. Excited? Yeah. Are you? Yeah. I'm excited too. Are you helping Daddy pack up the car? What about you, Mr. I'm too cool for Disneyland? <clears throat> Are you excited about going? What are you most excited about? The shops? Why? What do you want from the shops? A hoodie? Are you gonna Are you gonna sport around a Mickey Mouse hoodie? No. <laughs> what about you, little sir? Maybe a Donald Duck. Donald Duck? Are you excited about going to Disneyland? Yeah. What's your most What are you most excited about? The rides. The rides? Yeah. What about all the treats? Yeah, the treats. Cause you're a sugar junkie. <laughs> you love your sugar. Yeah. Ice cream, churros, chips. Yeah, all of it? Yeah. All right. Sounds good. Okay, folks, well, that's it for today. Thank you for hanging out with me. Hopefully this video offered a lot of motivation in some kind of way and you enjoyed your stay. I got everything done that I wanted to get done and I feel good knowing that I left the house clean. Kitty's gonna hold down the fort for us this time. I know it's been a while since I posted last, but we really needed this family vacation time. We all had so much fun together. I got a lot of footage and I can't wait to share it all with y'all. Please hit that like button and comment down below if you have anything you'd like to add or offer. Thanks again for stopping by. Oh, and please don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. I share a lot of good content on here. Okay, well enough talking. I'll see you guys next time. Okay, bye.